After the anti-demento lesson, Harry asked Professor Lupin if it was true that Sirius Black and Harry's father had been friends. Professor Lupin seemed disturbed by the question. He would only say that he had known Sirius once, or thought he did. Ah! Scabbers is gone! And you know what I found on the floor? Cat hair! Orange cat hair! You're not suggesting Crookshanks! I just heard! They're going to execute Buckbeak because he attacked Malfoy! No! They can't! This is all Malfoy's doing! He's the one who wants to be punished! There must be something we can do! An appeal! An appeal, that's it! I'm sure I've read about a case of hippogriff baiting. We can look in the library. I'll come along, but I've had it with that monstrous cat of yours, Hermione. I wonder where Madame Pince is. Maybe Crookshanks got her too. I know she'd let us look at those books on hippogriff baiting. It's an emergency. It kept in that legal section over there, but it's locked up. There must be some other way to get up there. All right. But let's just try and do this without getting into trouble. Trouble? Who says we'll get into trouble? <laughs> the Pulso! The Pulso! Pulso! The Pulso! The Pulso! The Pulso! The Pulso! The Pulso! The Pulso! Find a way to get us up for that legal section, Ron. Right. <laughs> the bottom. Hello, Morris. Hello, Morris. The bottom. Hello, Morris. Falco Isalon, ancient Greek. The first recorded example of an animagus he could... We'll shout if Madame Pinch shows up.
the book! Perfect! Now straight to Hagrid's. <laughs>